Now, as with our butterflies, you'll know your gelatin is ready because you'll hear this weird kind of popping, crackling sound, and when you come back, you'll see that it has separated itself from the sheets. Now, you never want to pull on it yourself um, because if it's still sort of damp, you will go, you will rip your wings. But this has completely separated on its own, and it's ready for us to um, start detailing and cutting. So we're going to go ahead and turn our fan off and get our gelatin and get started. So you'll notice it all comes off. And because of how it was painted, it's all basically one sheet. Um, and I know it's a little difficult to see on camera, but we have this really beautiful, very, very faint sparkle from our, from our luster dust that's going through our wings. It's very beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut out um, the first set of our, our dragonfly wings. And go ahead and just use that little pair of craft scissors for now. Those cuticle scissors um, we will probably need to use for our damselfly wings because they're a little more delicate. So there are a couple different options. You can go ahead and detail your wings and then cut them out, which is what I would suggest you do. So just cut it away from the main, from the main sheet. And we're going to go ahead and do our detailing. Now, I forgot to mention this earlier, but if you have a little um, container with some water in it, that is helpful. And go ahead and grab your paper towel because it's just a little bit easier to see. Now, you can use edible markers as we did with our butterflies, or you can go ahead and use um, your small detailing brush and your luster dust. And the reason I like to do it this way is because you can incorporate that luster dust, which you can't, on the, um, the edible markers. Now, if you don't want to use water, you can also use piping gel. Piping gel works really well, especially if you water it down a little bit with some confectioner's glaze. Um, the, but the, the main thing is you don't want to add too much moisture. So I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with our, um, with a little bit of our lime green, just on his, uh, the very tip of his tail and his head to kind of give him a lot of brightness. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some of this really beautiful kind of midnight peacock blue all right we're going to go ahead and add our eyes and we're going to get it into our former now because he ended up a little bit longer than I had anticipated I'm actually going to go ahead and just place him into one of our shallow formers rather than our our steeper smaller former